So after a long time of waiting, Google recently announced that they were going to be unveiling the Pixel Fold on May 10th. And from the information that we have, I really believe that the Pixel Fold is going to pose some actual competition to Samsung's Galaxy Fold. So in this episode, we're going to talk about a few things about what we can expect from the Pixel Fold event in a few days, as well as talk about a few potential reasons how it could compete with Samsung. So keep in mind, none of this is 100% confirmed right now, and we won't officially know until May 10th when everything is fully unveiled. But from we, the information that we have so far, we can expect things like a 5.8 inch outer display, along with a 7.6 inch inner display when it's unfolded. Both are going to be 120 hertz and are going to be surrounded by slightly thicker bezels compared to something like Samsung's Fold 4. So that's going to mean basically slightly thicker on the sides, as well as even thicker on the tops and the bottoms. One of the benefits of this is that rather than have the typical punch hole cutout camera that we typically have in a lot of phones, it's instead going to house the front facing camera inside of the bezel. And speaking of cameras, on the back of the phone, it looks like that we're about to have the same sort of triple cameras that we have on something like the Pixel 7 Pro. Now the cameras themselves haven't been officially announced, but from what we can tell, this seems to be what it's looking like so far. That being said, it does seem to be foregoing some of the typical premium cutting edge features that we usually get on something like a folding phone or you know, Samsung's Galaxy Fold. For example, things like the under display cameras and the stylus. But even though it's not including any you know, special features like this, I really think that something like this is going to really end up being stiff competition for things like the Galaxy Fold. First of all, it's going to have a much wider market share compared to something like Samsung's other competitors. So even though we usually think of Samsung when we talk about folding phones, what a lot of people may not realize is that there are other folding phone competitors out there in the world specifically in the Chinese market where you'll find phones from companies like Xiaomi and Oppo. The big issue though is that while those companies are limited specifically to the Chinese market, Samsung has a global market so they can hit the US, Europe, and anywhere else in the world. Now Samsung doesn't really have right now an actual competitor that also has a global market share, so if Google ends up coming out with their own folding phone, then they could end up filling that gap and provide some actual competition to Samsung. In addition to that, it seems like Google is also coming out with some better hardware that could end up rivaling Samsung. So first of all, Google seems to be going for a newer hinge design with the Pixel Fold. So rather than the typical type of hinge like we get on something like the Galaxy Fold, Google is coming out with something called a teardrop hinge. So basically the way this one is designed is that it's not only going to allow for a much smaller crease, but it's also going to allow both sides to fold flat. So typically if you fold a folding phone, what's gonna happen is that the two halves when folded shut are gonna face slightly inwards. But with something like a teardrop hinge, what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow both of them to fold to where the halves are parallel with each other. And about the crease situation, a tech YouTuber named Dave2D ended up getting a prototype of the Pixel Fold and noticed that yes, the crease actually was a little bit smaller than what we typically have on folding phones. Now the crease tends to be a sort of point of issue for a lot of people because it basically speaks one to the durability of the phone and second it just feels a little bit unsightly on a phone that you spend at least eighteen hundred dollars for and plus it's just not really fun to run your finger across and it feels a lot nicer to have a more smoother continuous display so having something like this on the Pixel Fold would really give it an edge over something like a Galaxy Fold. In addition to the new hinge design it also seems like Google is going to be going for things like the better cameras. So whenever you have a folding phone, one of the points that companies typically go for to save costs is usually by axing the cameras. So for example, when the Galaxy Fold first came out, it definitely did not have very good cameras. And up until the Fold 3, the Galaxy Fold ended up using 12 megapixel cameras across the board before the, the Fold 4 came out with the 50 megapixel camera. Where Google could have the edge though, is that Google is typically known on the pixels for having, having superior cameras compared to some other phones out there. Now, a lot of times this is mostly uh, referred to in terms of just still photos and there are some areas that they still struggle with, but in general, Google is known for taking somewhat better photos. But it's not just the photos that would give it the advantage, but also some of the software features. So for example, you have features like the photo unblur, which can unblur the photos that you take as well as other things like the cinematic video, which came from the, the iPhone 13 Pro, that basically allows people to dynamically change the focus of whoever's speaking. And all this really stems from Google being able to use their own hardware in addition to their software. So being able to 
have this sort of unity between all the different components basically helps it make it a bit more of a well-rounded cohesive package compared to other folding phones. And another advantage that can come out of all this is all this tying together at a bit of a lower price and a much higher value. So typically when you go to buy a folding phone, you'll usually see that the price is well beyond most people's budget. Usually these things cost at least $1,800, $2,000, even as much as $2,500 because the components that go into something like this are very expensive. This is still a very new technology, so it's difficult for a lot of companies to come out with something that has a lot of value. It's why Samsung made the Galaxy Flips uh, because it was much cheaper to develop while still giving people access to the Foley technology. But we've never really had this kind of value come out on the larger folding phones. And with the Pixel Fold, it's been rumored for a long time now that Google could end up bringing this to the Pixel Fold. So there've been a lot of rumors specifically that Google would knock the price under $1,800. And BGR specifically reports that the price could go as low as $1,400. I don't know if I'll actually end up going that low, but even if it knocks one or two hundred dollars off the price of something like a galaxy fold while also having features that people would more likely care about rather than other features that are a bit more cutting edge and things that would appeal more to tech enthusiasts this could end up creating a more enticing option for people who have been a little bit hesitant in the past but overall with google being able to have a much wider market share along with features that people will really i think be into combined with a really good value this could end up being something that could really end up competing with Samsung's folding phones. That's all I have for right now for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Adios.